Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So welcome to Motivation Monday and in this video I wanted to talk about jealousy. It's actually not a topic that I would have thought to bring up but I got a few video requests for it and so I figured well if I'm getting a few video requests then maybe it's wanted or needed. And I know that this is something that new nurses more so than experienced nurses may deal with so I definitely wanted to touch on this. There's only been really a few times when I I felt like their other nurses were jealous of me um, and further than that jealous of me and treating me unfairly so the reason why I think that they were jealous of me was they gave me like an extremely unfair assignment one time I had patients it was a very big unit I had patients on all four corners of the the hospital all four corners of the unit and I mentioned it to the charge nurse and she just really got an attitude and I said well I just said to myself oh whatever I'm gonna lose some weight today <laughs> Another time when I potentially thought that maybe I was treated unfairly was when I received four patients and they all had wounds, all had peg tubes, and all were like turn Q2. And they were all in separate rooms that were shared where the other patients didn't. <laughs> and the nurse that had assigned the patients to me, I had a, a little bit of a history with before. Not like so much of a negative one, but of like a neutral one. She just never really seemed to like, um, like for example, I would be talking she just like wouldn't listen to me. And I'd be thinking to myself like, am I invisible? I don't understand. But I really just don't let these things get to me. So here's how I dealt with the situations. And this is how, you know, maybe some of you guys can deal with it. Um, first of all, I never take for granted building up people's trust. So in my opinion, this challenge, it's still a doable job, you know, like it might be a little bit unfair that I have to run a little bit more, or it might be a little bit unfair that I have to do like crush all the meds all day, all day long. <laughs> but still like, for the most part, it's a doable job. It's still a safe assignment. And so as long as the assignment's safe, then what I usually try to do is just handle it. Now, the reason why I, I don't confront the person, and this is my personal opinion, anyone that does anything out of anger is an angry person. And I truthfully don't want to deal with angry people if I can get away with not dealing with angry people. But because I don't want to be a doormat, what I will do is, especially if I'm going back the next day, is when the charge nurse is with the other charge nurse, like during shift change, is I will go to both of them and say, you know, today was really hard because I had all the patients on different corners. And I come back tomorrow, I, I don't really mind getting a different assignment, but I don't think I can do that again. Can you just change the assignment around a little bit? So that way, like I'm, I did the job. I didn't cause that charge nurse any more trouble, but I'm also not going to be quiet about it. I know a lot of you guys watching this might be like, oh, you're a doormat, you're a pushover, you know, you don't speak up for yourself. That's not the case. I speak up to, for myself quite a bit. I'm very vocal in different ways, but I choose my battles and some people are not worth it. <laughs> so that's just how I feel about it. <laughs> So anyways, I hope that this encourages you to kind of take a step back if you feel like somebody is treating you unfairly and assess whether this is a battle that you want to fight. Anyways, that's how I deal with things and I'm happy if you want to try it out. I think it'll help you out. So all right, guys, I can't wait to see you next Monday for another motivating tip and have a great week. I'll see you then. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In 
In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the Dean's List. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.